from its origins in the mountains of Venezuela and Brazil to its delta on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. The Orinoco River flows for nearly 1,300 miles. Along the way, it passes ancient rock formations, glorious waterfalls, dense tropical rainforests, and vast grassy plains. The Orinoco Delta, the area where the river's water empties into the ocean, is a swampy maze of canals and streams. Many smaller rivers or tributaries connect to the Orinoco. One of these tributaries, the Caroni, features Angel Falls, the highest waterfall in the world. The Orinoco is home to several South American Indian cultures who have lived in harmony with the river for thousands of years. In fact, the name Orinoco, which means place to paddle, comes from the language of the Warao people. One of the Orinoco native cultures is the Yanomami. About 2,000 Yanomami live near the river, far removed from the modern world. For them and about 20 other local cultures, the Orinoco is a vital natural resource. The river offers not only a way to travel, but a supply of clean water and fresh food. There are more than a thousand different species of birds that roost here, and a huge variety of fish swim in these waters, including the dangerous piranha. Then there's the Orinoco crocodile, which at 20 feet in length is the longest of its kind in the world. And there are big snakes too, like this giant, the anaconda, one of the largest species of serpent anywhere. In the rainforest, you may catch a glimpse of a rare cat, like this jaguar. But out in the open plains or llanos, you're more likely to see the planet's biggest rodent, the capybara, scurrying around. In the last 50 years or so, a few cities and towns along the river, such as Ciudad Guayana, have grown tremendously, and there are some signs that the modern industrial world is creeping in. Parts of the Orinoco now have dams to control flooding and to harness the river's energy to produce electricity. Mining companies are digging for rich mineral deposits like gold and diamonds. International oil companies have started to pump natural gas and oil out of the ground. And from the mouth of the Orinoco, huge commercial vessels now sail along the river for 250 miles. But despite these changes, the river and the region have stayed relatively untouched. Several national parks and forest preserves have been set aside to keep the area wild for future generations. These preservation efforts will help the Orinoco River continue to be an important resource for Venezuela, a vital waterway that supports the people and living creatures that rely on it.